The bottom pane inside of Perfect Portrait adjusts eye and mouth changes that you might want to make to your image. They have automatic defaults. You'll notice that some of the sliders have been moved over to the right, but you can manually go in and make adjustments if need be. First, let's start with the eyes. You can whiten the whites of the eyes using the whitening slider, or you can add detail or intensity to the irises of the eyes using the detail slider. You'll also see that there's a reduce red eye box that you can check if you're dealing with an image where the flash went off and you've got red in the pupils. Let's start with the whitening slider. I'm gonna move it all the way over to zero so we can take a look at our image without it. Because this photo was shot a little bit in shadow, the eyes are darker than I wanted them to be, and so by brightening up the whites of the eyes, it'll brighten up that whole area. We'll take that slider and move that over to the right, and you can already see the eyes start to look a little bit better. The detail slider is my favorite. It adds intensity to those pupils and really makes them stand out. We'll move that back down to zero so you can see how the eyes are a little flat. Moving the detail slider over, really makes them start to pop and stand out. I really like to add a lot of detail to the eyes in my photos, but you can adjust this depending on your preference. Below are the mouth adjustments. You can whiten the teeth and you can add vibrance to the lips. I'll take the whitening slider and move that back down to zero. You can see his teeth are a little darker and more yellow than I would want them to be. So we'll take that whitening slider and move that over to the right. We won't whiten them too much so it doesn't look like they're overdone, but just enough so that they look a little bit better than where we started. The Vibrant Slider is best when you're dealing with models who have lipstick on. It really makes the lips pop and stand out. For this subject, we don't necessarily need this slider, but it can be a great tool for other subjects. If you're dealing with a portrait where you have someone with sunglasses on or someone who is smiling without teeth, you can take any of these sliders and move them down to zero so that you don't have to apply those adjustments to areas where it doesn't need it. If I go over to the next face in my image, you'll see this subject isn't smiling with her teeth. Now, the way that the program works, it didn't select her teeth, but just in case, I can move that whitening slider over to the left to zero, and then let's pump up the vibrance of her lips because we want them to be a little bit more exciting. If you wanna go back to the defaults, you can go to the bottom right-hand corner and click Reset, and you can move on to other adjustments for your image if you want. 